How's it going guys? Today I'm on Toy Hunt number 100 and look at here. We have the sister location backpack hangers. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm at Target right now by the way. <laughs> but I have not seen these in person and they look very cool. Ooh, it looks like there's two different types of Funtime Foxies, two different uh, babies. That's awesome. And then they also have some of the Series 2, as well as the Eclipse <laughs> Animal Jam little adopt -a pet homes. That's cool. I'm curious to see if they're just repainted um, ones from previous series, but it looks awesome. I like the whole Sun and Moon thing going on. Very Pokemon-like. <laughs> But these look so cool. Well, Blower is a little scary, but Funtime Foxy looks awesome. That's pretty neat. So that's on an end cap, and then this is their other blind bag section in the front of the store, and they have some of the new Series 4 Minecraft hangers as well. Here's a look at some of them. It looks like you can get the dragon. Okay, that's cool. Huh. The baby mushroom. Okay, that's adorable. And then the ender dragon. That's that's awesome. So new Minecraft stuff as well. Been finding a lot. Um, let's see. Mashems. Very cool. Five Nights at Freddy's tins. Those are the little tins I always open with the cards inside because they're awesome. And then the Pokemon section which is also super cool. Recently started playing the TCG and it's awesome. I really want that Meowth pack. Cool stuff. Ooh, I like the little mini binders. That must be the Burning Shadows ones. That's cool. Those are $4.99. You get the mini binder and a pack. And down the action figure aisle, they have more plushies. Oh my goodness, more Sister Location Plus cheese and a lol bit. Looks awesome. I have never seen that one before. <gasps> so cool. I wonder if it's a Target exclusive, but I don't see anything. But lol bit. <gasps> so cute. Okay. I'm glad Toy Hunt number 100 is going well. <laughs> new, new Five Nights at Ready stuff. Ooh, and the Minecraft uh, Spooky series. For Halloween, the little blind boxes. I've seen the packs, but the boxes are so cute. That is awesome. So there are certain figures you can only get in the blind boxes, just like the ones in the pack. So that is cool. I love the whole pumpkin theme. Those are awesome. So they have a full case of those. Ooh, Lichen Rock. What are you hiding out back there for? So this target's kind of a mess right now, but still cool stuff. Funtime Freddy up there. Another Funtime Freddy. So very cool. Um, I wonder if there's new Pokemon figures out. A little Clef Fairy there. That's awesome. I've never seen the Lycan Rock one. I wonder if they have his midnight form, because that would be amazing. So very cool. Kind of scanning over. Love a little bit. Definitely gonna pick one of those guys up. <laughs> Looks like they have the older Roblox. And here's a look at the Star Wars section. They do have a nice selection left over from um, Force Friday. They have Rey. So I don't know if these are exclusive to uh, The Last Jedi. There's Finn. Very cool. They have Poe. That's awesome. Who's excited for that movie? It's going to be here before you know it. Kylo Ren, C-3PO. Oh, his arm's not red. Interesting. Stormtrooper of the for First Order. That is cool. Let's see. That general dude. <laughs> oh, and I guess some new characters as well. Oh, there's Chewbacca. Oh, and it has that little bird thing. Ah, Parg? Is that its name? That's adorable. <laughs> I just love that thing. I know they make a, a little electronic one, too. Very cute. So, awesome stuff. 
glad to see uh, more new Star Wars toys out. And they're looking pretty cool. They also have some character two packs, which is cool. Oh, that's like an older one with Boba Fett and Han Solo. Sad. <laughs> I love Han Solo. He's awesome. And then they have some new vehicles for the for the movie. That's cool. That's a Kylo Ren thing. And then they also have another ship of Poe's, it looks like. Star Wars vehicles are always very cool. So lots to look forward to. Ooh, and then they have some of the mystery minis. Oh, I've been wanting to see these in person. So they are bobbleheads, which I'm not a fan of, but still, they're the classic Star Wars characters. Oh, they have a lot of different odds as well, which makes trying to get the whole series hard, but oh my goodness, Vader. They even have like a little Greedo in there. <laughs> And I like the art style too. The human faces look actually really cool. So uh, that's awesome. I guess it's for the 40th anniversary. They have um, a full case back there too. Very cool. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up a few cause they're awesome. <laughs> they have this whole sort of Star Wars layout, some Lego, new Lego ones. And then over here on the end cap, they have some of the new Shopkins Boarding to Asia series. Very cool. So they have the two packs, they have the 12 packs. Happy places. Love the cute little blind boxes. <laughs> they also have some of the shoppies. Very cool. Ooh, and down here they have some of the smaller Pick Me Pops. These are the single packs. Um, but those are really cute. I've opened um, just one larger one on my channel. I haven't seen the larger ones in stores yet, but they're adorable. They're scented. You, they're, they're really cute. They're little beanbag guys. Oh, that must have been the larger ones. They're sold out. But still very, very cool. And I love that fortune cookie one. <laughs> and of course, Sarah's Sushi's beautiful. We have some of the other Happy Places welcome packs. And then Target has some of the new Series 4.2 Num Noms. Um, one of you pointed out that I missed it on my last toy hunt, and I totally did. But here they are! Yay! So, looks the same, just says 4.2, couple different characters on the front. We got the Fancy Cakes driving the truck there. So that is super cute and adorable. I can't wait to see who else is in that series. Ooh, they have some of the Series uh, 4.2 packs as well. Oh, that's awesome. So these are, let's see here, the Frosted Donuts, which look super yummy. And it looks like there's four. They have the Bunt Cakes. That's awesome. Princess Cakes, that little Princess Buttercream. And then a Snack Break with a Fortune Cookie. So let's see what they have. It looks like they have two donuts. That's a 4.1. The Bunt Cakes. Oh, I like the colors. They're very vibrant, very cute. Ooh, and up here is the fortune cookie pack. Oh, he's adorable. Let's see. It doesn't look like they have the princess cakes. <gasps> but look at his little rainbow sprinkles. Oh, no, no, I'm, they're just so cute. I can't. They're so cute. <laughs> so that's awesome. They also have um, almost all the new plushies. The rainbow candy one that is very cool stay tuned for a video very soon i filmed it it's just not posted and i have my entire collection which is a whole lot of cuteness <laughs> they also have the connie confetti little uh, carrier which she looks adorable yay so new new num num stuff already that's awesome and i think these packs are 9.99 at target very cool. They also have some of the My Little Pony movie figures. Those have the little painted designs, which are really neat. Okay, so now I'm at Walmart. We're going to go all over the place for my 100th. And they have some of the new large Minecraft figures. Oh, how cute. Um, I'm pretty sure these are new. The witch looks awesome. That is so cool. And they're $12.93 at Walmart, which is a good price. Alex. Oh, there's the, the sheared sheep there. 
who is very, very green. <laughs> but that's awesome. The witch is um, definitely my favorite there. Cool. Ooh, and they have more of the Spooky Series 3 packs, which those are a lot of fun too. No blind boxes, but Target had those. And I believe there's four different types. Last week I picked up one. Oh, the little wolf, werewolf thing is awesome. That's cool. Okay, that's the pack I got. I love the, the pumpkin gas going on. A mummified sheep. How cool is that? And then the sham. Interesting. And then Walmart also has the Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. That is cool. So if you're looking for them, so far at Target and Walmart, I have never found them at Toys R Us. Oh, they don't have uh, Funtime Freddy, but they have the other three. So those are cool. I know there's some exclusives coming out. Ooh, and they also have the non-exclusive um, mystery minis that comes uh, with Jacko Chica. That is cool. So they're not the Walmart exclusives. They're just the, the regular set. Awesome. Let's see, I'm moving on down. Walmart has some of the new Star Wars figures as well. So Poe, it looks like um, probably the same assortment that we saw at Target. Who is this? Finn in his jacket, which technically is Poe's jacket. <laughs> That's cool. So exciting stuff there and then they have no new black series uh large figures that kylo ren looks pretty cool let's see Ooh, and ray they actually did a really good job on on her face and stuff so awesome i really like the black series they are very nice quality figures and then moving down to the little mini metal figures they actually have a guardians of the galaxy pack which looks really cool, but they're not to scale, which I understand because Groot and Rocket are so small. Um, but still very cool. I like Groot in his little pot. <laughs> Oopsies. My bad. I caught it though, so we're good. Oh, Harley Quinn looks really cute too. I haven't bought any of these, but they intrigue me. And then Transformers, always very cool. I love the Titans Returns. Ooh, they have... I didn't know they were doing Octane. He's from G1. Okay, they renamed him Octone. Really? So if you're a G1 fan, you know that his name was Octane. And he still looks like he's still kind of a tanker truck in the jet. Oh, he's so cool. And Blitzwing, the triple changer. That is cool. I actually have a G1 Blitzwing. He's still a tank and a jet as well. Oh, he's cool. These are, oh, they're $24.98. They're awesome. wonder why they renamed Octane. Weird, but cool. I'm still going to call him Octane. <laughs> and then Walmart has some of the new Shoppies dolls as well. And again, Sarah Sushi just looks so cool. I like the little intricate braid design in her hair. That's cool. I think, um, oh, there's Bubblicia. There's an Australian one from Australia, too. But I don't see that here. They have a couple of the packs from Boarding to Asia, as well as some Happy Places Little Shoppies. I know there is going to be a couple more figures. I guess you'd consider them the Wave 2 coming out soon. And then My Little Pony the Movie stuff. They have these little squishies. The pancakes look cute. It has a decent slow rise to it. <laughs> and Monster High Minis. Oh, love these. Ooh, they have like two and a half cases. That's awesome. Cute little fashions. More My Little Pony, LOL, and Zoom Zooms. A lot of those bath fizzies. Cool. Oh, the Guardians. Oh, I love that pack. <laughs> love the pirate ponies. Oh, Walmart even has some of the new plushies. 
That's awesome. Looks like this whole little tray is, is full. So that's good. They're um they're cheapest at Walmart. <laughs> so that's definitely the place to to buy them. I did not buy them at Walmart, unfortunately. And then Descendants, as well as the Star Wars Forces of Destiny, which look awesome. And Tangled. <laughs> And they have these little Disney princess plushies, which I always thought were adorable. They kind of match the, the Funko Mystery Minis, that style, back when those were out. You can't really find those anymore. Then Monster High. And Walmart also has the Kuku Harajuku dolls. I love their outfits, that little sushi purse, adorable. and spirit. Cool. And down the Lego aisle, they have the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, game area. That is so cool. They also have some Rick and Morty sets. Huh. A couple of you have um, asked if I watch Rick and Morty. I don't, but it seems pretty cool. <laughs> so McFarlane Buildables have, has that license. I think they're making South Park ones, too. But I'm interested in the Five Nights at Freddy stuff. Oh, look at the Star Wars uh, advent calendars out. That's cool. BB-8 has a Santa hat. That's adorable. <laughs> and then sort of in the preschool aisle area, I always like to look down here. Those Miffy's adventures look cute as well as that little Dougie. He's pretty cute. He's like a little policeman and fireman. Awesome. Oh, they have plushies. I like the alligator guy. <laughs> He's really cute. And I guess the Miffy ones are solely at, at Walmart only. And then the Care Bear plushies. Oh, as well as Peppa Pig there. George with his dinosaur. That's adorable. And then Walmart also has some of the new Flip-A-Zoo packs. That one's a little Sunday. As well as some blind bags, a carrying case. And some newer plushies, let's see. So we have a cow. Ooh, I like the dragons. Oh, so this is a speckled dragon. And let's see what it changes into. Oopsies, I will pick up the cow. Looks like a, a horse. <laughs> there you go. And on the end cap, they have a huge Masham and Fasham section. And these are only $2.88 at Target, which, again, is probably the lowest price I've seen. So they have Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Barbie, Care Bears, My Little Pony, both the Stack'em forms, SpongeBob. Those are cute. I opened Patrick, and I'm really happy about that. They have the Hello Kitty ones. That is really cool. I've opened a few of those. And Pac-Man? What? I had no idea. Okay, so I love Pac-Man. And Mrs. Pac-Man, of course. So that's really neat. Okay, so <laughs> pretty cool. There's five ghosts and one Pac-Man. Awesome. So that's a pretty sweet end cap if you are a fan of Mashems and Fashems. And my last stop for my toy hunt is Toys R Us. I'm in the Pokemon section because it's awesome. <laughs> and last time I found some new stuff. So very cool. So they have the Trainer's Choice Packs. Oh, they have more of these collector packs. I just thought it was so cool that you get 12 uh, mini figure characters in that pack. And they also have the little pop and stick play sets, which are so cool. Um, let's see. So they have the two small play sets. There's the little house with the Pichu there. That's awesome. Oh, and they have the smaller uh, packs. 
is Froki, who is so sweet and adorable. To Denny, I believe. What I noticed with these small packs, though, the Eevee and the Pikachu are the same you get in the set. So, they're sort of doubles if you have the sets. Oh, and they have the little treehouse. And the Eevee Lucian plush, which, those are awesome. And then in the Zoom Zoom section, they have some of the new blind bags, which are awesome, as well as the Series 7 um, packs. Still have the Advent Calendar going on. That's cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to do an Advent Calendar this year, but it's still a cute idea. And fun to open every day. Oh, cool. They have some of the Squish Delish. Which. I've seen them at Target, too. They're, they're tempting. I do like, do like a good squishy. <laughs> and they have some of the Shopkins Squish Delish, too. This is in the Shopkins section. So that's awesome. Um, I don't think they're named or anything. But I guess, you know, you... You take a cute little piece of food and put a little happy face, and you can call it a Shopkins there. I like the Blueberry Pie one. Nice. So those are really cute. And then they have some of the Disney Happy Places Welcome Packs. Okay, so I've seen pictures on Instagram, and I'm really excited for these. So this is the Minnie Mouse kitchen set. And I love how you get an exclusive little Shoppies. That is cool. Okay, it looks like they have a Cinderella one. So this is the vanity set. I just like the whole color themed to the Disney princesses. That's awesome. Oh, these are so neat. They have a bell one. Oh, cute little candelabra there. <laughs> So it just has a neat color theme and character theme. Ooh, and then it looks like they have another Cinderella. This is a bedroom set with a different Shoppies doll. Oh, that looks really neat. Wow. And I know they're making blind packs as well, so it'll be cool to see all the different stuff. I think the Minnie Mouse one's my favorite. Probably because I like all the little miniature foods. It reminds me very much of Remint. Love Remint. They have some more down here. Yeah, it looks like there's just that four. So there's two Cinderella, a Belle, and a Minnie Mouse. So cute. So cute. A brilliant idea to mix Disney with the happy places. <laughs> Look at the little Mickey waffle. Oh my goodness. And I love how the accessories all theme. They have the slipper, the carriage, the little mouse cell phone case. Uh, that's adorable. <laughs> so they did a really good job with those Disney ones. I'm excited about them. And then, ooh, they have a prom playset. So this must be a schoolhouse extension. Exclusive prom petkins. That's pretty cute. And then here's a sort of look at the other Happy Places stuff. They have a lot of new stuff. They have the Hollywood with her theater. Donatello with the kitchen. The birthday one. Oh my goodness. And now the Disney ones are out. Yikes. Lots of, lots of little mini toys to collect. <laughs> and they have this bedroom one. That's very cute. Toys R Us also has the Boarding to Asia packs. I actually have a lot of them, as well as the, the Shoppies dolls. Very cool. I still haven't seen the Australia uh, doll, but I will, I will find her one day. <laughs> but right now, so many new toys. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, so I am back home from my 100th toy hunt. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's 100 already. Yikes, that's a lot of toy hunts. <laughs> but... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, now is the haul portion of the video. If you want to stick around and see what I purchased, kind of got a little of everything today. I figured, why not? It's the 100th. 
we're gonna we're gonna celebrate that so snoopy bags full let me move him aside and then the first thing out here is the awesome little shoppies doll of sarah sushi visiting japan and i absolutely love the detailing on her hair she is gorgeous okay i'm just gonna randomly pull out things so very happy to find the new sister location little backpack hangers i picked up three of those they look so cool i like the artwork and yay more sister location stuff to collect that's always awesome and then in the pokemon realm they have lichen rock which looks super cool i really like that character and they do make the midnight form which they didn't have but i'll be on the hunt for that next um, when i was at the world championships they had the plushies which were super tempting but i'm really glad they're making action figures instead because I can I can do the smaller sizes <laughs> a little bit better than the large plushies, but still very cool. Let's kind of make a display going on. And then at Walmart, I was super excited to find Pac-Man Mashems because that's amazing. I really want that ghost, and of course I want Pac-Man too. So I picked up three of those. Um, that's just so cool. I I'm such a fan of the old school arcade games, and Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man's one of them. Um, and then I also picked up two of the Star Wars little mystery minis because Funko mystery minis are just awesome in general and the Star Wars ones look amazing. I wish the odds were a little bit easier. I mean, they made Vader a 1 in 72. That's just mean. <laughs> but some of the other characters, you, you you stand an okay chance of getting, hopefully. So we will see which two we get. But either way, that is, that is super cool and awesome. And then I picked up one of the regular Squish Delish. I'm going to try these out. They feel okay. You can kind of squish them inside. They're not that slow rising compared to like a key brew squishy if you've seen some of my squishy openings. But still, I think the theming and colors are really vibrant and cute. So I got one of that series. Oopsies. And then I also picked up one of the, the Shopkins ones because those look pretty cute as well. And I realize now that you can kind of see the color through. So I have something yellow and pink, which... Who knows what that is but either way um if you're in stores and maybe you're looking for a certain one you might be able to tell by the color there i had no idea so very cool and then let's see i picked up um two of the series 4.2 num noms so yay those look adorable i like that little fancy tea cake okay i also picked up one of the hello kitty little fashions those are adorable. And then I got the Chewbacca Star Wars figure. Um, number one, I love Chewbacca. I'm very curious to see how things are going to fare without Han Solo. Sad face. Poor Chewie. And then it comes with that little bird thing. I think his name's Parg. And I don't know. It's adorable. Look at that little face. So really cool to, to have him. Let me scoot that in frame. And then last but not least lol bit <laughs> and this plushies are like super soft and super awesome just like all the five nights at freddy's plushies very nice quality love the tail and just awesome i can't wait i'm gonna be on the hunt i know um they're making an action figure of lol bit so very cool so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my 100th toy hunt as much as I did. That was a lot of fun and I'm glad I found some new stuff to make the 100th a, a special fulfilling episode. <laughs> so thank you guys so so much for coming toy hunting with me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notifications to not miss any of my future videos and I will catch you later. Bye bye guys.